Greetings everyone and welcome to Ant War Update number 5. Some rather exciting news today. It's uh, Sunday, March 23rd, 2008. And I think I just found the nest. Okay, so we're going to head outside and uh, I'll show you what I found. Let's go. And of course we want to bring our trusty, let's try the English side, trusty canarade. Okay, here we go. So as you can see outside we have this um, wooden porch and it's raining. It's quite beautiful out here actually. You see the, uh, there's a road right next to our little area here. And then we have this cool stone steps, which are actually kind of precarious. They're kind of old, but anyway. So I noticed, as you can see here, there's a few ants around this area. And you'll see a bunch of dead ones. I actually blasted this area a couple days ago. I thought maybe the nest was in there, but uh, apparently no such luck. And we haven't seen a lot in the house. We've seen just a, the occasional uh, stray one, and then eliminated it as we've discovered them. So here's the thing. Um, in my research about carpenter ants, um, one type of wood they love to burrow through because it's really easy to chew through is wet wood. Hmm, I wonder. So this is all pretty damp. This gets rained on all the time, because uh, if we look up, the awning doesn't quite cover that area. You can basically see quite clearly where it stops. So this corner, especially during time, the time of year like this, is constantly wet. So let's go down and take a look underneath, shall we? But first, before I do that, I'm just gonna blast a few ants. And we're gonna go out. Hit that area as well. So I'm pretty sure that's where they're actually getting into the house. There we go, okay. So let's head down. Head down the uh, rickety rocks here. This is where our mailbox is. So let's uh, let's take a look up here. As you can see underneath, this is the porch here. Let's go over here a bit. So this is the porch here. And if you look underneath, there's a lot of old wood and stuff. Prime ground for uh, those kinds of things. Then, if we look up here, um, step up here a bit. Right underneath the porch. Look at that. What do you think? Holes all over it. And a huge chewed out section right where it gets wet. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to blast that fucker. Let's do it. If they're burrowed really deep, I don't know how well this is going to get them, but... Doused. So let's head back up. Take a look at the other side. Ooh, look at that. It's an ant trying to escape. 
get right in that hole there. Splash all along the bottom. Splashing that hole there. There we go. So there you go. I'm pretty sure that was the nest because that certainly seems to fe uh, meet the description. Which is actually kind of a nice thing that it's out in the open like that rather than uh, burrowed into the walls somewhere. But I kept seeing ants around that little area so it's, I suspected that, you know, at first I think, oh okay, they're coming from outside somewhere, probably an old dead tree. No. <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure that was it because there is no reason for them to need to go in there unless they're living there because they can always get around or or whatever but uh, yeah so I think that was the nest obviously I can't go hacking away at it because it's supporting our porch but uh, I think we'll let the landlord know about that before we leave and then uh, we'll be good to go yeah I'm a little pooped I'm really out of shape sitting on the computer too much <laughs> Anyway, just a quick update this time. Really not much more to say than that. So, uh, catch you next time. Later, folks.